Hi everyone, I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. In this video, I want to show you how you can shred files and other types of data like folders and like also empty space from your Linux Ubuntu machine. Shredding data is important because if you have data that you don't want anyone to recover, even with a specialized tool, only deleting the files and the folders will not be sufficient. Linux has a built-in command called shred, but the shred command has many limitations, so it can shred only files and devices. So to complement the shred command, I'm going to install a package called secure delete. I'm going to show you how to install it. And the secure delete package has a suite of commands that can shred many other things than files and devices only. So first, I'm going to show you quickly how the shred command works, and then I'm going to go to the secure delete package, show you how to install it and how to use the commands in it. The first shred command I'm going to show you is how to shred a file. So here I'm going to shred the ledger.xlsx file under the secret docs folder under home. So in a terminal window, type in this command shred space dash fzv. So F is to force the shredding of the file in case you don't have permission on the file. It will give you permission. Z is to write zeros at the end of the shredding operation, which is three times random numbers by default. And V is for verbose mode. So it will show you all the output on the screen. Then space dash dash remove equal Y. So this will remove the link to the file. So it will shred its content and it will shred its name also and then space and here you need to put the path to the file here i am in the home folder so i'm gonna put the path to the secret docs folder dot stash secret docs and it is important to respect the casing here slash and here you need to put the file name you can use wildcards so i'm gonna put ledger dot star and hit enter and you see that the file was shredded instantly and here it wrote three times random numbers, and then the fourth time is zeros. So let me show you now how to shred a device completely. I'm going to clear the screen. So this here is the device I'm going to shred. It can be an internal device, and it can be also an external device like a USB key or an external hard drive. The important thing here is to take its name. And here it's called slash dev slash sdb1. And this is, you can find it under files here. So this is a command you need to enter. And here, because we are shredding a device, you need to put sudo before shred. So sudo space shred space dash fzv once again, space minus minus remove equal wipe space slash dev slash sdb1 and hit enter. And here it will ask you for your password. So put your password, hit enter. And this is the shredding taking place. So it's going to do four passes, three random passes, and one pass with the zeros at the end. And you're gonna notice at the end that it will remove it completely from the system. So as you see here, the device was removed completely and it is empty now, and there's nothing in it. So that was for the shred command. Now I'm gonna install the secure delete package and I'm gonna show you all the things that the secure delete package suite of commands can do that the shred command cannot do. So let's start first by installing the secure delete package. In your terminal window, key in this command sudo apt install secure dash delete and hit enter. And here's the secure delete package installed. The first command I'm gonna show you in the secure delete suite of commands is the SRM command, which is secure remove. So this command will remove a folder, it will remove a folder and its subfolders and files. So it has a recursive mode that the shred command doesn't have. In my example, I'll be shredding the my docs folder that is under the home folder. So also in the my docs folder, you have another folder that has other files and you're gonna see that I can shred all this folder and everything underneath it with one command. And this is something the shred command cannot do. So this is a command to shred the my docs folder srm space dash r for recursive and then v for verbose so that we see everything in front of us and then z so to write zeros at the end of the shred and the srm command it will do 38 wipes random wipes and then it will write zeros so this will take a very long time if you have a large amount of data to shred so you can use the option l the option L, it will only write twice random numbers. And then if you specify Z, 
that will write zeros also. Here in my case, I'm not gonna use the option L, so I'm gonna put space, and here you need to put the folder name only. So it is dot slash my docs, always respecting the case, and here hit enter. And you see here that it says it will do 38 special passes and it started removing and wiping the files. I'm gonna accelerate the video and come back when it is finished. So now the command finished and notice that the my docs folder disappeared completely and everything underneath it also was wiped. The next command I'm gonna show you is a command called sfill. This command will wipe the free space. This is useful in case you deleted files before without shredding them. So if you run the command sfill, no one can recover these files anymore. So let me show you what is the syntax of this command. I'm gonna show you in my example how I'm gonna wipe the free space under the data partition. So the data partition is mounted somewhere on my system and I'm gonna show you how to get the mount name so that you can run the command. Click on the applications here and then click on utilities, click on disks and choose the disk that you wanna see where it is mounted. And here you see that the data disk here, it is mounted under media KST data. So this is the path that we need to put. Let me minimize this and let's go to terminal and key in this command. sudo sfill dash vzl. I'm gonna put L so that to pass only twice on the empty drive because otherwise the command will take too much time. And then space and here you need to specify exactly the mount point. So slash media slash kst slash data hit enter it will ask you for your password so put your password and here you see that it is wiping the free space so it writes a file i opened here the folder so that you see what it writes inside it so it writes a file and when it finishes all the empty space will be completely shredded I wanted to tell you that if you're running this command on a large volume, it will take lots and lots of time, even if you have a fast hard drive. So just plan in advance if you wanna run it. So now the command finished and you see that it wiped everything and then it wrote zeros at the end. And the next command I'm gonna show you in the secure delete suite of commands is the sdmem. So it is secure delete memory. So it will delete everything in the RAM so this is a command you need to put sudo sd mem space minus v and I'm gonna add also the L option so that it will do two passes only. So this way it will not take a long time by doing 38 passes. If you wanna do it on a real life system, keep it without the L option. So put the password for your user and here it started wiping the random access memory. So this is now the command finished and everything in the RAM was wiped. I hope that this video was useful to you. In case it was, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and this will help my channel greatly. And this way, you'll not miss my future videos. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.